it just out of control and nuts. I'm, I'm, I really hope that uh, that I can I can somehow avoid sending my kids to college. I, I mean, hopefully I get rich. You know what I mean? And they can just live off of me and be spoiled brat kids. I, I'm sorry, it's safer. I can keep them protected. That'd be safer. I'm scared to send my kids off to college. And, you know, not only am I scared that some lunatic's going to waltz onto campus and open fire. I mean, that's obviously biggest concern, but then, I mean, it even trickles down into little stuff. I don't want, you know, I don't want my kid to end up on some website with his ears duct taped to his head and a tampon in his nose, you know, and a beer bottle in his butt cheek, or, you know what I mean? And some goofy picture passed out in the middle of campus, you know, in the quads. <laughs> College is nuts. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And you can see it. You're starting to see it at the games. You know, you're, the fan base is becoming more and more rowdy. Um, it's becoming less and less of a family-friendly uh, environment. I mean, some of the chants that get said at games are just, they're not even creative anymore. They're just vulgar. I mean, come on. Chanting BS at a basketball game. It's just vulgar. That's not creative. Well, you didn't like that call? You might just boo then. Come up with something else. Something creative. <laughs> something clever. Don't just cuss. Everybody cuss. Oh, yeah, you're smart. Way to show you're brilliant. That's mom's and, mom and dad's money's paying off real well, obviously. Idiots. I'm serious. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to send my kids to college. <laughs> Ellen says what goes on in the parking lot is unreal. That's before you even get in. Yeah, <laughs> the tailgating parties are crazy enough. You get in there and it's total chaos, out of control. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to. I want to. Hopefully, I can make a lot of money. Just a lot, a lot of money. My kids can just be set, or maybe I can, you know, make enough money to just open some business and just let the kids run it. You know. I know I know most of you that know me um, know that my family already does own a business, but it sucks. That's not the business I want to be in. I want a different one that's easier, that actually makes money. So, you know, I'm going to try to keep my kids from going to college somehow. And, I mean, there's a, enough that it's not safe. <laughs> it's not safe anymore. And I know the kind of people that <laughs> that their mother and I are, <laughs> they, they will be drawn to some bad things <laughs> at college. They will be inclined to go to parties. Know what I mean? It will happen. Max Nuts got to take off. Later, buddy. Take it easy. <sighs> yeah, so that, then there's my peers of college. That's just what I think. That's just what I think. Uh, NWC, the Mountain West Conference, Brigham Young, 14 and 2 in the conference, 25 and 6 overall. I'm putting them in, right? There he's. I mean, if I'm picking 64 teams out of all these teams, they're getting in. So let's look at. Let's look at it, honestly. From the. From the ACC. How many teams get in from the ACC? I mean, North Carolina and Duke, obviously. Um, Clemson will get in there. They're 22-8 and eight overall, 10-6 and six in the conference. Maybe Virginia Tech. If they're lucky, maybe Virginia Tech, 18-12 and 12 overall, 9-7 and seven in the conference. They might not get in. So, that I mean, that's four tops, right? Let's look at some of these other teams. I mean... Miami of Florida is 21 and 9 overall. That might be good enough for them, but they are 8 and 8 in the conference. I don't, to me, you really got to take a look at that. I mean, that's because that's the kind of competition you're going to be seeing in the tournament. You know, these conference records to me mean more than these overall records, at least in the big conferences. Miami of Florida goes 21 and 9 overall. Yeah, it looks great, but they are 8 and 8 in the ACC. And that, that doesn't, that, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't sound too good. 
you got to be able to you got to be able to post a winning record. I think in a big con- that's that's the kind of competition that you have after the first round in the big dance. You know that's the kind of competition you have. Um, let's find another Big Twelve. Who goes from the Big Twelve? Kansas, obviously, thirteen and three in the conference, twenty eight and three overall. Um, impressive, Bill Self, good coach. And uh, I, as an Illinois fan, have gotten over the fact that he abandoned us to go to Kansas. We have to do that as fans. I mean, you have to. It's good to be a fan, but don't be a grudge holding, angry ex of a fan. All right? Bill Self took a better job. Deal with it. He did. He took a better job at Kansas. Not only that, he took his dream job. You can't blame the guy. What do you do? Sometimes guys leave. So um, anybody still holding a grudge against Bill Self, uh, please get over it. 